Yeah, so this Donald Trump and Iran situation is getting way out of hand. Um, everybody needs to understand that this is a serious situation. It really can get ugly out there. Um, there's a lot of hands in this. There's a lot of lives at stake. And as Americans that live in the United States, we should be fearful. First of all, the man that was murdered was a terrorist. Was a terrorist. All right, let's get this straight. It's a Muslim state, Iran, which is Iran, and they should have been dealt with a long time ago. Of course, when Barack Obama was in office, he didn't put his foot down against Iran when he held our soldiers, American soldiers, hostage. Right then and there, they should have been eliminated. There was no way that we should have gave them money and nuclear power. That's very dangerous. We've been fighting the caliphate forever. And now you want to give them nuclear power. That's not smart. Whatever the case may be, um, this is a sketchy situation. And if a war breaks out, I don't think anybody will understand how much damage it would cause the allies that's even involved. Um, It's like, it's like y'all people need to understand that there's prophecies that's going to be fulfilled. Um, we're living in devil's world. This is his playground. Um, he has dominion over the, the higher power. The higher, the higher powers of this world, let me say that. The wickedness of this world. Um... We're fighting a real spiritual warfare. Yes, there will be bloodshed, but it's, it's a spiritual warfare. And if this goes down, I'm telling you, it's not going to be nothing nice. And people calling for the president's head, I don't think none of this is healthy. Not during these times. But let prophecy be fulfilled because one way or another the truth will be told and what's happening now is the truth is being told there are rumors of wars and when they start the rumors best to believe they're ratcheting up the weapons and the plans and the blueprints and the strategies um, it's a it's a sketchy situation, so you know, it's not there's nothing funny about it. Um, you know, people going you got your Saturday Night Live people and your CNN people that like to frequently throw jokes and about the matter. Um, like I said, we've been fighting the caliphate and terrorism for the longest, and one by one, they've been eliminated. Even Obama had helped killed Osama Bin Laden and it is what it is people but if you don't get your mind right you don't get in the Bible you don't you won't understand the height of what's going on it's very it's very possible that this can be a start of a, 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 a of the end possible you never know you never know. And the Bible says the world will, will, will destruct itself. It will destroy itself. We are. We're killing each other. You know? we plotting against each other. Sitting at the table, at secret tables, plotting against each other. This whole system is the B system, and it's not called the B system for nothing. Let the revelations begin. 
But what I will say is Everyone should pray And pray for their president Pray for the leaders of the world Period Because if you don't If we don't come together As Christians As opposed to Enlighten the people of what's going on This is going to come and end very fast uh, Nobody wants that smoke So all I'm saying is Just keep your eyes To the sky Keep your ears open And um, stay in the Bible man Because things are getting nasty out there And it's going to get worse Don't believe it's going to get better Yes, it'll get better, but it'll get worse, sir.